Ben, welcome to join us with this edition of ANA English News. And I'm Mohammed Harif Tufan. More than 100 staff operations have been done over the past three weeks in Hinman province, which killed 733 armed Taliban insurgents and left 60 injured. Abdul Nabi Ilham Hinman Police Headquarters Commander said that during these operations, six police have been killed. And from other side, Kenahar police discovered 30,000 kilograms of hashish. This hashish was seized last week from smugglers in the outskirts of Kenahar province. Security police of Kenahar province defused 30 ki kilograms of hashish. Colonel Rahmatullah, Kenahar police HQ commander said this hashish was seized during last week operation. Two protesters shot dead in clashes with police in Cairo following anger at football rights, which left 74 dead and 1,000 injured. Almost 400 other protesters injured after police fired tear gas and rubber bullets. Violence rose on Wednesday after local team Al Masri beat Cairo. Many victims were stabbed to date as ambulance were unable to get through. 1,000 people passed out from tear gas, according to Egyptian State TV, riot orchestrated by force loyal to our state president Hosni Mubarak. More than 100 people have now died as a result of freezing weather in Ukraine since last Friday. The government has announced in Kyiv most of the ones who died were homeless people and 64 of them were found dead on the streets. The emergency ministry said hundreds of others have been treated in hospital for frostbite, hypothermia and other cold-related conditions. Temperature planned to below 35 Celsius in parts of Eastern Europe this week. At least eight more deaths were reported in Poland on Thursday, bringing the death toll there since last week to 37. Defense Minister Stephen Smith has re rejected reports that the United States will end its combat rule in Afghanistan by late next year. U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta has reportedly made the comments ahead of a key meeting of defense ministers in Brussels. U.S. had said it intended to hand over the Afghan forces earlier than 2014. Mr. Smith said he understood international forces would have an ongoing presence in Afghanistan until the end of 2014, in line with agreed transition strategy but he said 2030 would be a milestone year in that process. A revised draft of UN Security Council resolution aiming at ending violence in Syria has omitted several key demands. In a concession to Russia, the resolution no longer calls on Syria President Assad to step down. A new draft resolution on Syria submitted to the UN Security Council left out several major demands made previously by European Union members of the Arab League. Diplomats said on Thursday in a concession to Russia, which has vowed to veto any unacceptable proposal, the document ha no longer calls for Syrian President Bashar al-Assad to step down. Pakistan said yesterday that they were willing to do whatever Afghan wanted to end 10 years of war with the Taliban, but insisted the process should not be led by the Americans or any other foreign powers. Foreign Minister Hina Rabani car suit to refute perceptions that Islamabad was an obstacle to peace. We're willing to do whatever the Afghan wants or expects, Carr said when asked whether Pakistan was ready to push the Hakan Network towards peace talks, but stopped short of naming the group of commenting further. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching.